Happy Monday evening, everybody. And this is day 20 of our physical distancing. Our, I guess that's what it would be. So I have my um, glitter globe here that I made when we did the kids yoga at Timber some years ago. And I believe I explained it um, a couple weeks ago when we first started how you shake it up. And this is all the chaos that's going on right now. Crazy things in our life. And then as the glitter settles slowly, we just kind of let it all settle as well. So I was really thrilled when I did this a couple weeks ago. And one of the comments on that class was that um, the lady said her kids still have the one they made. Um, I think it was her daughter had made during that class. So I was really happy to see that, to hear that. So anyway, that's my uh, de-stressing, um, the way to de-stress tonight. Watch my glitter settle. So we're actually going to start from standing. We're going to start with some sun breaths tonight, um, just to kind of warm up our body. So if you're seated, go ahead and bring yourself to standing. Warm up the body, not just with the physical movement, but with the uh, breath itself. Breath can actually help to warm up your body. And I have to thank Robin Pardo, who gave me this really awesome shirt. I love it. And uh, definitely putting it to good use. So we're going to go ahead and come to the front of your mat. First, establish your foundation. Make sure your feet are about hip width. Rock yourself from heel to toe until you feel the weight equally balanced between the heel and the ball of your foot. Roll your shoulders down your back. Bring yourself to a nice neutral pelvic bowl here, neither tipping back nor tipping too far forward. Nice neutral. Begin to engage your legs. Feel as your toes lift. If you just lift your toes for a breath, how the muscles hug the bones. See if you can keep that muscular contraction and then just lower your toes. Roll your shoulders, palms facing forward, legs engaged, neutral pelvic floor. Just close your eyes and connect first with your breath. In yoga, our breath is primarily through the nose. So see if you can't narrow that breath down to moving smoothly and slowly in and out through your nose. Invite Ujjayi breath. That little closure at the back of your throat that makes your breath sound like the ocean as the waves roll in and the waves roll out. and open your eyes. Inhale, sweep your arms, reach to the sky, straight up. Exhale, hinge at your hips and swan dive. Little softness into the knees, tuck the chin, fingertips down. Inhale, flat back, either fingertips on floor, shin or knees. Lift your hips and your gaze, draw the chest forward. Exhale, back into your fold. Again, inhale, flat back, half lift, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, back into your fold. Again, inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Then either straight legs or bent knees. Reach your arms, reach to the sky, deep breath in, looking up at your thumbs if you wish. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, reach arms up. Exhale, hinge and fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep your arms. Reach to the sky. Looking up again, it'll me if your neck allows. 
Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, hinge and fold. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep your arms, reach up. Look up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Moving into a lunges. Inhale up. Exhale, hinge and fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fingertips and toes in line. Step that right foot back. Aligning left knee right over the ankle. Draw the crown of your head forward. The gaze remains down. We're just lengthening from crown of head to heel. Firm up the right thigh. Lift your right hip just enough so it's not dropping toward the floor. Press your fingers, either palms or fingertips down. Try to lift the chest slightly away from your thighs. If you need supports, blocks of some sort, a nice heavy books, something to bring the earth a little closer to the your hands, use some type of prop. Just finding your breath here. Take a nice deep breath and then step forward and fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fingertips and toes in line. Left foot steps way back. Right knee right over ankle. Open your stance a little wider if you need to so that knee is not in front. Press into your left heel. Engage your left quadricep. Lift your left hip a bit. Again, the gaze is down, like you're trying to draw the crown of your head away from your left heel. Lengthen sternum away from tailbone. Feel the heat growing already. Again, another big breath in. Exhale, step forward and fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep your arms, reaching up. Back bend at the top if you wish. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, hinge and fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fingertips and toes in line. Right foot steps back. Take that knee to the floor. Bring your hands to your hips. Tip the pelvic bowl back slightly. You can feel the hip points lift tailbone down. Just let your hips come forward. Release your right toes. Breathe. Keep the chest up away from your thigh. Do not lean forward. We're tipping that pelvic bowl back so the tailbone is down, hip points up. Release your arms by your side and inhale. Reach arms up high. Take a little back bend if you wish. Exhale. Release your hands down, fingertips and toes, right toes. Bring them up or knee to the floor, knee away from the floor. Step forward and fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fingertips and toes in line. Left foot steps back. Press the knee to the floor. Release your toes, hands to hips. Tip hip points up, tailbone down. Hips sinking gently forward, opening into your left thigh. Quadriceps hip flexors. Keep the chest lifted. Don't lean forward. Stay up tall. Release your arms down. Inhale, sweep those arms up. Look up if you wish. Exhale, release hands down. Curl left toes under, knee up. Step forward and fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep your arms, reach to the sky. Exhale, hands to heart center. We're going to continue with classic Surya Namaskar. This is knee down lunges. If you wish to keep the knee up and come into the high lunge or crescent lunge, you're perfectly welcome to do whatever you wish. From Anjali Mudra, Samasthiti. Inhale, arms high to the sky. Exhale, hinge and fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fingertips and toes in line. Right foot back, knee down or not. Inhale, sweep arms up. Exhale, hands down. Step forward and fold. That's one slow breath out. Inhale, lift. 
exhale, fingertips and toes in line, left foot back, knee down or not. Inhale, sweep arms up. Exhale slowly, hands down, curl toes, step forward and fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep the arms, reach up, look up if you wish. Exhale, hands, heart center. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, hinge and fold. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, hands down, right foot steps back, knee down or not. Inhale, into crescent or low lunge. Exhale, hands down, step forward and fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, hands down, left foot back, knee down or not. Inhale, high lunge or low lunge. Exhale, hands down, step forward and fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep the arms, reaching up, look up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, hinge and fold. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, step right foot back. Crescent or low lunge, inhale, exhale slowly, hands down, step forward and fold, inhale, lift, exhale, hands down, left foot back, inhale, pressing up, crescent or low lunge, exhale, hands down, step forward and fold, inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold, inhale, sweep the arms, reach to the sky, looking up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Close your eyes. Full deep breaths in. Nice, slow breaths out. Now bring your feet a little closer together so that maybe your knees are touching. Open your eyes. Inhale, sweep your arms, reach to the sky. Drop into chair pose. Squeeze the legs together. Make sure that your weight is into your heels. You can see your toes, so the knees are not in front of your toes. Turn your pinky fingers in, see if you can lift the chest a little higher and sit a little lower. Feel from your ankles to your knees, from your knees to your hips, feel into your core, hips to shoulders, shoulders to fingertips. There's a lot going on in Utkatasana. That's why they call it the fierce pose. Make sure you're not curling your tailbone out. We want to lengthen the spine, draw the navel up and in. Inhale, reach high to the sky. Exhale, hinge and fold. Whew. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fingertips and toes in line. Step the right foot all the way back. Lower the knee to the floor and release your toes. Bring your left hand to your thigh. Inhale, the right arm up to the sky. As you exhale, lengthen forward as you bend, bend your right elbow and cross it to the outside of your left thigh. So we have a nice long spine here. Left hand on top. See if you can press the hands together gently and slowly bring your belly away from your thigh. Open your chest more to the left side. Breathe into this twist. We're wringing out that emotional washcloth. If you can, take your left arm to the sky. Deepening gently into the twist. You can bring your right arm down if you wish. Try to keep it on the outside of your thigh if possible, or just keep the elbow pressing on the thigh. Good. Bring your hands back together, prayer pose. Now just see if you can curl your right toes under and then press that leg so the knee comes away from the floor.
Good, beautiful. Release your hands back down. You're in your runner's lunge. Step forward and fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, hands down. Left foot steps back. Take the knee down. Right hand to your thigh. Inhale, left arm up to the sky. Begin to exhale, lengthen forward, and then bend that left elbow. Take it to the outside of your right thigh. Right hand comes around on top. Pressing those hands gently together to lift your belly away from your thigh. Move your right ribs, your right shoulder up, back, and opening your chest. Find your twist, breathe. Again, if you wish, right arm up, maybe that left arm down, or keep the left elbow right at the outside of that thigh. Deepening your twist. Return both hands together back to prayer pose. Curl the back toes under. See if you can press into the ball of that foot and lift the knee away. Awesome. Release your hands to the floor. You're back in your runner's lunge. Take a deep breath in. Step forward and fold. Woo. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep your arms. Reach high to the sky, looking up if you wish. And exhale, hands to heart center. Ah. Oh. Well, I feel energized. I hope you do. This is a good way to end the day a little bit, letting go of all that craziness during the day. Just let our minds focus on some movement here. Movement and breath. Pranapita. It's awesome. All right. Front of the mat. Inhale, sweep arms up. Exhale, hinge and fold. Fingertips down, chin tucks. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, hands down, right foot steps back. Take your left arm to the sky, left arm. So right hand is still relatively close to your left foot. Now suck in your um, right hip. Make sure that the hips are very much engaged here. We don't want that right hip sinking toward the floor. So really activate, bring the hips up nice and strong. Now see if you can press into the left foot and just lift up, bringing maybe just your right fingertips to the floor or just hover your right fingertips just off the floor. A lot of balance here, focus. Good, can you come to standing slowly, twisted lunge, right arm forward, left arm back. Can you release your left hand to your right leg? Can you turn your right palm up and reach to the sky? Walk that left hand down, find your twist. Take a deep breath in, release both hands to the floor. This time step back into plank pose. We're in plank pose. We're not dropping the butt and we're not lifting the butt. Get it in line with shoulders and heels. Got it, Connie? In line with shoulders and heels. Big breath in, come forward, slowly lower down. Ah, oh, release your toes. Your hands should be about mid chest. Turn your pointer fingers toward the front of the mat. Inhale just with your chest, just a few inches, hardly using your hands at all. Engage your low back muscles and exhale down. Press those elbows towards your feet, shoulders away from your ears. Use a little bit more pressure in the hands. Let's see if we can inhale maybe halfway up. And then exhale down.
Are you breathing? Nice deep breaths in. Even if you start gasping for breath, make sure you're taking it in as deeply as you can. Your breaths may come a little quicker, but take them deep. And again, we're gonna inhale pressure into the hands, coming up to the fullest expression of your cobra. Soften your butt, lengthen your belly and chest, forward and up, soft gaze, and then release all the way down. We're gonna curl those toes under. You can press to your knees if you wish, and then into downward facing dog. Ooh, this is our first downward facing dog, so let's play here a little bit. Press one heel at a time back to the mat. Open into your calf muscle. Hold that pose for just a couple heartbeats so you can actually feel it. If you're there pumping along and pumping along, you're not really going to give that muscle a chance. We want to feel into your, the back of your legs. Lift your sitting bones. Feel into your hamstrings. Lift your sitting bones and really press your thigh bones to the wall behind you. Let your head drop between your upper arms. Curl the tailbone up a little bit. Press into the pointer finger and thumb side of the hand. Most of the weight should be there. Oh, look between your hands. You're going to come up on your tiptoes. Now, teeny, teeny little baby steps. Bend your knees as you go to get to the front. Bring your feet all the way up to the front. Oh, and take a forward fold. Whew, you can grab your opposite elbows if you wish. Just let everything kind of hang out. We're moving right along here. Ooh. Release your hands. Inhale, flat back, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep your arms, reach to the sky, look up. Exhale, hands to heart center. All right, other side. Inhale, arms reach high. Exhale, hinge and fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, hands down, step the left foot back. Now we're going to twist right arm to the sky, left hand near the right foot, right arm goes up. Move the chest to the right. Activate your left hip, don't let it sag, you want to keep that hip lifting. You may not be twisting as far as you normally would if you let that hip drop. So keep that hip very much engaged, keep it level with the right. Start to press into your right foot and see if you can bring those left fingers, maybe just fingertips to the floor first, then maybe fingertips away from the mat. Then be very mindful as you slowly bring that left arm to the front, right arm to the back. Twisted lunge. Can you release your right hand to your back leg? Can you turn your left palm up and start to lift it to the sky? Moving that right hand down your back leg. Breathe. Release arms back out, spiral hands to the front, and we're going to step back again to plank pose. Big breath in here. Remember, knees can come down, just no sinking or lifting. So big breath in, you're going to lower again, all the way down. Inhale, draw the chest forward and up. Pelvis remains on the floor, thighs, tops of feet pressing down, shoulders down. Soft gaze, release chin down, and finally just press to child pose. Big toes touch, bring your knees apart, press your fingers slightly forward, settle your sitting bones towards your heels. Let your forehead rest on the mat or a block or support if your neck is not going to allow your forehead to the mat. Hmm. With your fingers spread wide, try to draw the mat back towards you. Open your back. 
Feel how this back spreads and really fill the lungs now. Fill belly, ribs, and your back. Every time you exhale, try to let the tailbone curl a little bit more downward towards your heels. And then slowly begin to bring yourself back up onto your knees. Get your knees under your hips. Curl the toes under. Inhale into a cow pose. And exhale, downward facing dog. Bring your feet a little closer together. Maybe your toes will touch. Press those hips up and back. Now press the left heel down and just inhale that right leg straight up, straight up, straight up. Then bend the right knee and see if you can drop your foot toward the left side of your mat. So if you look out under your left armpit, see, I can see my foot. Okay, so we're just lifting that knee a little higher, opening that right hip, left heel pressing down. So the knee's going up. You can still see your heel. Good, take that leg back, lift it up and float it down. Ah, oh, bring your knees to the floor. Just come back onto your knees, roll your wrists a little bit. All right, we're on our arms quite a bit there. We want to make sure that we're not um, overextending the wrists. So just make some, shake them out. Other side. Back down. Inhale into a cow. And then exhale. You're in downward facing dog. Again, the big toes might be touching. You're going to press that right heel down. Keep it pressing down. Take that left leg straight up, straight up. You notice if you keep your toes facing the floor, we're not externally rotating yet. So you can only get it up so high. Now you're going to bend your knee and open the hip, dropping that foot toward your right side. I can see my heel out under my right armpit. Now lift that knee a little higher. Now see how you can lift that leg. As soon as you open that hip, I can still see my heel. Press that right heel down. You can still look at your left heel. Good, now slowly bring that leg back, square the hips, extend up and lower down. Woo! Bring the knees back to the floor. Ah, oh, come all the way back up. Woo. All right. So let's, you can either keep your toes um, curled under or release them. Bring your hands behind your back if your shoulders are especially tight, place a scarf or a hand towel between your hands. Otherwise, just roll those shoulders down and back, interlacing your fingers, and we're just gonna sit back just a little. Good, so we're going to hinge at the hips, start to bring your chest so it's resting on your thighs. Get the forehead to the floor, and then roll onto the crown of your head, lifting your hips so they're right over your knees, and let your arms with your fingers interlaced fold over you. This is the pose of humility. Be mindful of your neck. If you've got neck issues, you probably won't be doing this. So just be very mindful of your neck. Just let those arms really open. Those shoulders get a good release here. Mm. 
and very slowly rolling again towards your forehead. You're going to sit back, keep your fingers together. Once you sit back, just release your arms and they just want to float forward. Oh, beautiful. Bring your hands back. Separate your knees. Come into table pose. Inhale into your cow. Exhale into a cat. Again, inhale into the cow. Exhale into your cat. One more time. Inhale, cow. Curl the toes under. Exhale, downward facing dog. Adho Mukho Svanasana. Hmm. So I got some bad news today. Well, bad. I expected it. I was supposed to go to Kripalu that first weekend of May, and they're still going to be closed. So we'll be rescheduling at some point. Heels pressing down, hips up high, thigh bones, femurs pressing back. Let your chest melt towards your thighs. Make yourself that really awesome upside down V. Then look between your hands. Come up on your tiptoes. And again, just baby steps. Notice when we do this, you're putting weight into your arms. We're actually feeling the arms active here. Baby steps, bend your knees, come to the front, and then release and fold. Grab your elbows, let everything hang. Oh. All right. Uh-oh. Oh. I must be relaxed. I'm starting to yawn. Release your fingertips down. Inhale, flat back, half lift. Exhale, fold. And then inhale, sweep your arms. Reach up, look up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Okay, we're going to take a little bit of a flow now with our warriors. And we'll come into um, a really nice triangle. Excuse me. And then I'll challenge you maybe in an extended triangle. It just brings a little bit more strength into your core. You have the option, of course, of not going there. So we'll see how, how it goes, okay? So I'm actually going to switch to this end of the mat. Inhale, arms sweep high. Exhale, hinge and fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fingertips and toes in line. We're going to step the right foot back. Walk your hands to the right side of the mat. Turn all 10 toes to the long side. Bring your hands to the floor right under your face and lengthen from tailbone to crown of head. Walk your hands back so that your fingertips are in line with your toes. If you have to put yourself on a block, please do something to get your hands, fingertips in line with toes. So, like this is my block, this photo cube. So I would bring my fingertips in line here. Okay. Good. Take a nice deep breath. Come into that cow pose. As you exhale, just forward fold. Now, if your head comes to the floor, you need to open your stance a little bit more. Press your fingers back into the floor to lift your chest. Bring your hands to your hips. Press your feet into the floor. Chest is parallel to the floor. Inner thighs engaged. Press into the floor and slowly come to standing. Feel the inner thighs. They might even be shaking a bit. Ah, oh, come all the way up. Beautiful. So we're going to turn the left toes to the front of the mat. Turn your right toes in. Bend into your left knee, checking again to make sure that the knee is not going past your ankle. Root down into that right foot, all four corners. Zip up your right thigh and press into your left side. Open your arms, relax your shoulders down your back. Draw your lower bandhas in, your bathroom muscles and coughing muscles. As you settle in, just feel sensations as they arise in your body. 
So I'm feeling a lot of energy. I'm feeling all the way up into my legs. Now remember, the legs are actually also like you have magnets in your feet. So it's like they're trying to draw toward each other. So the left thigh is pressing back or to the left slightly, the right thigh up and back, but yet your feet are magnetized. Lots of energy. Still some nice deep breaths. Then we're gonna turn the left palm up. As you inhale, lengthen forward first, and then press that left arm up so you're really opening into your left side body. Right arm going down your back leg. Really open the left side. Come all the way back through. Now start to lengthen again. Bring your left forearm to your thigh. See if you can take that right arm up to the sky. Now as you do that, press your right shoulder back a little bit so that your chest is actually starting to roll a little bit toward the ceiling. Still rooting into that right foot. You're gonna take a deep breath, turn your right palm and reach that arm over your ear. Settle into your left hip a little deeper if you wish. Still breathing deeply. Draw the energy right up through that right foot. Feel into your right leg, all the way from the hip to your shoulder and out through the fingertips. Now take a nice deep breath in and see if you can take your gaze to your right fingertips and open a little deeper into the back on the right side. Feel that stretch, that feels so good. It's like the back ribs opening just a bit more. And then bring your chin back. Inhale, come back to warrior two and straighten out left leg. Let your arms come down for just a breath. We're gonna step the right foot in just a little, maybe about eight to 12 inches. Hips still pretty parallel to the long side of the mat. Open your arms. Both legs still active, pressing down. Belly up and in. We're gonna take a deep breath. Start to lengthen over the left leg and draw the right hip back a little. Keep lengthening, keep lengthening. Then let the left hand come down and the right arm go up. Again, draw that right shoulder back. Shoulder blades are down the back. You can be gazing down. See that your left shoulder is positioned directly over your left knee. You can be looking toward me, or you can tuck your chin a bit and look up. Lift your left toes. Just lift your left toes and feel how that leg really kicks in here. And then release. Now, if you want to take that extended triangle, turn your right palm, take a deep breath in, and reach that arm over your ear. Then inhale all the way back up. Oh, release your arms down. Turn your left toes in so you're actually pigeon toed now. And again, bring your shoulders down your back, interlacing your fingers behind you. Roll those shoulders down, press your fingers toward the floor behind you and start to inhale into a back bend. And as you exhale, fold forward. With your fingers still holding on to each other, let those arms just fold over. Ah. Then bend your knees and come into goddess pose. So, I'm sorry, just come all the way up to standing, turning all 10 toes back to the front. Then we're gonna turn our toes out to the side, knees tracking toward the toes. Take your arms up to the sky, big breath in. And as you exhale, then come into our goddess or horse pose, Utkatasana.
Draw that belly up and in, tailbone has a 10 pound weight, drawing it down, knees are going towards your toes, elbows back, chest open, breathe. And then inhale all the way up, arms out. We're gonna spiral the hands back to framing your left foot. Bring your hands back to the front, step that right foot up and forward fold. Inhale, flat back, exhale, fold. Inhale, arms reach high to the sky. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, hinge and fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fingers and toes in line. Left foot steps back, walking all 10 toes to the long side of the mat. This time as you lengthen from tailbone to crown of head, you're gonna reach out and grab your, uh, your ankles. Take a nice deep breath and then lift your elbows. See if you can draw yourself a little closer to the floor. Then come back up, chest parallel to the floor, hands to hips. Engage your inner thighs. Feel them shaking, maybe a little, as you slowly, slowly bring yourself all the way to standing. Woo! Turn your right toes to the front of your mat. Turn your left toes in. Make sure that left foot is completely grounded. Pinky toe, big toe, whole heel. Bending right knee, checking to see that it's not going past your ankle. If it is, open your feet a little wider. Right thigh pressing to the right, left thigh up and back, yet the feet are magnetized. Feel those legs. Engage the bathroom muscles. Engage your coughing muscles. Open your arms. Draw your shoulders down your back, your shoulder blades down your back. Gaze out over the right fingertips. Again, just feeling into the pose. What are you feeling here? Now I'm feeling into my left thigh. I'm feeling into my left inner thigh. I'm feeling energy into my core. My arms are feeling really good. See how you feel. Then turn that right palm up. We're gonna inhale, lengthen forward. Keep that right knee bent. Take that right arm up and over. Left arm going down your back leg. Keep your right shoulder back. Do not let your, your chest roll toward the floor. You're gonna keep that chest coming straight toward me. So you're opening your right side. Right knee stays pressing to the right. Don't let it move in. Then inhale, come all the way up. Again, we're gonna lengthen, but bring the right forearm to the thigh and take your left arm to the sky. Now draw the left shoulder back a bit, like you're trying to press your back to a wall. Press firmly down with the right arm so that your ear and your shoulder do not contact each other. Root into that left foot. Zip up your inner left leg. Good, turn your left arm. Big breath in and reach that arm over your ear. Feel your chest rolling again, slightly up toward the ceiling, just a tiny bit. Feel from the left foot to the hip, hip to shoulder, shoulder to fingertip. Good, take a deep breath in here, and then see if you can take your gaze towards your left fingers and feel your back open, that left side. Oh yeah. Breathe. Then slowly bring the chin back. Come all the way back up to warrior two. Release the arms down, straighten out the legs, and step your left foot in about eight to 12 inches. So today I was watching 25 words or less, and one of the words was warrior, and the girl gave yoga pose, um, fighter, and they, they kept saying soldier, soldier. Oh well. Arms out, left hip back, lengthen out over your right leg. Draw your right thigh bone in, keep lengthening. 
and then bring the right hand down, left arm up. Draw your left shoulder back. Draw your left hip back slightly. Press into your left foot. Maybe lift your right toes again. Feel how that leg activates just a bit more. Again, you can be looking down. Notice how your right shoulder is right over your knee. You can be looking toward me or you could be looking up. Just tuck the chin a bit, protect your neck. Now, if you wish to go into the extended triangle, Utita Trikonasana, turn that left palm, take a deep breath in and exhale, reach that arm over your ear. Whew, feel into your core. This is sensation. Wow. Then inhale, come all the way back up. Whew, turn your right toes, pigeon toes. Once again, hands behind you, roll those shoulders back and down. Ah, take a deep breath as you come into a little back bend, and then exhale as you come forward, letting those arms once again fold forward. Ah. Oh. Release as you come to standing. Turn your toes out. Take your arms up to the sky. Big breath in. Exhale into Utkata Konasana. Expand the collarbone. Draw those elbows back. Sit a little deeper. Keep the knees tracking toward the toes, not coming in, going out. Belly up and in, tailbone down. Then inhale, come all the way back up. Spiral your hands to frame your right foot. We're gonna step back into downward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Oh, heels pressing down, hips up high. Take a deep breath, come forward into plank and lower with control. Inhale into your last cobra. Tops of feet, thighs pressing down. Soft gaze, butt loose. Exhale, release chin. And then press to child pose. Big toes touch, knees open, forehead to floor. Mm. And begin to come back up, maybe crossing your feet behind you and rolling over them, or just shoot them out to the side. Bring your feet all the way to the front. Let's shake her up again. Good. Pressing gently into your heels, settle your sitting bones down to the ground. Roll your shoulders down your back. Bring your hands to your outer thighs. We're going to draw the outer thighs up, inner thighs pressing down, then hands by your side. So feel how tall your spine is. You can feel all the way up from the tailbone to the tip of your head, crown of your head. From Dandasana pose, we'll move into Paschimottanasana. So let's inhale, reach your arms straight up. Lift the chin a little and start to lengthen forward, creating a long spine, eventually releasing your hands down, soften into your low back and release your chin.
and then use your hands to help bring you all the way back up. Ah, oh, good. We're going to slowly go down onto our backs, but here's how we're going to go. We're going to roll. We're going to take the legs up into Viparita Karana. So let's inhale, reach up to the sky. Exhale, just reach forward, create that C curve in your spine, and then slowly start to draw yourself back like in a C. Eventually roll the shoulders back so the chest is lifted, okay? We're about halfway. Now start to lift your legs. Half boat. See if you can continue slowly down onto your back. Let your legs go to the sky. Ah. Oh. Now you can stay right here if you wish. If you have um, a yoga block or uh, a towel maybe, or a blanket you wanna just put under your hips a little bit, or just your hands like I just did, my hands under my hips. Okay, just to relax here. If you wish to go toward plow pose, you can very carefully just lift your hips, toes over your head. At that point, you might be able to bring your hands to your hips and take your feet up to the sky coming into half shoulder stare And if you're in the half shoulder stand, we're just going to release our toes back over our head. Release your arms. Roll out gently. Either bent knee or straight leg. Everybody bring feet flat to the floor close to your butt. <sighs> Cross the left knee over the right knee. Left knee over right knee. Scoot your hips to the left side of the mat. So you got to bring the hips to the left. Open your arms like airplane wings. Drop your legs to the right. Keep your head looking toward the left. Try to soften into your twist. If you wish, you can bring your right hand to the top of that left thigh. As you gently draw the leg down, as though you're trying to bring your left knee a little closer to the ground, Make sure that you're twisting into the whole spine, not concentrating into just one particular area, but the whole spine. And then release that right arm. We're going to bring the legs back through center. Bring your hips back. Untwist your legs. Right knee on top of left knee. You're going to shift your hips now to the right side of the mat. Let your legs drop to the left. And turn your gaze to the right. Left hand, if you wish just to try to draw that right knee a little closer toward the floor. But again, be very mindful of how deeply you're moving your spine in this twist. And then release your left arm. Bring yourself back to center, hips centered. 
legs uncrossed, and then moving yourself into any position for your corpse pose that fits your, your body tonight. So you can maybe just keep the soles of your feet pressing together, knees out to the side. Maybe the palms will be resting on your belly, but the elbows on the floor. Arms can be out to the side, palms up, or feet can be coming forward and let the feet drop to the side. Press the back of your head gently down, lift your back. Allow your shoulder blades to glide towards center and feel the connection now, shoulders to earth. Scan the physical body. Drawing the breath from the soles of your feet up through your legs. Soften into your belly, into your hips, into your back. Feel the shoulders, again, completely connected to your mat and how heavy your arms seem to be. And then relax your face. If your body feels okay, if there is no area crying out for a little attention, just bring your awareness now to your breath and see if you can take those, again, full deep breaths in and slow breaths out. And imagine every time you exhale, letting go of something, letting go of some stress, some anxiety, just letting go. If you wish to remain in your relaxation pose, please do so. But if you are ready to come out of it, allow your breath to move at its own normal rhythm. Begin to invite motion into your legs, into your arms. Wiggle your toes, wiggle your fingers. Move your head from side to side. And as motion begins to return to your body, Draw your knees into your chest and then roll onto your right side. From there, use your arms to carefully guide you back into your seated pose. Once seated, Allow your shoulders to roll down your back and your hands to rest in your lap or on your thighs, palms up or down. Just take a few rounds of ujjayi breath or straw breath. Close your eyes. And then open your eyes and release your hands down by your side. With another big breath, reach your arms to the sky and draw the energy back to your heart centers. Thank you so much for joining me this evening. I'll be back tomorrow at 1045 for another gentle yoga class. But of course, you can always scroll down through the classes that are already recorded and take whatever you wish. Um, some people had asked me about donations um, and if you wish I 
post it also on the Facebook page. Uh, donations would be appreciated, yes, and I will be donating a portion of that to um, our local food bank. So it would be through PayPal. I set up an account through PayPal. So again, thank you, everybody. Enjoy the rest of your evening. The light in me honors the divine light within you. Namaste.